Hey, this is Rick with Shooter1721. You're like, what do we got going on? Well, we have the FX Impact 800 millimeter 30 cal right there. We got the trigger cam on top, Valdata. <clears throat> and you're like, well, what's, the, what's this? This is the Corbin Air Gunner slug press. This thing is a game changer. But I want to show you how it's a game changer. So we're set up. I got crab apples at 50 yards. I got the trigger cam here. My mag is empty. I am going to make three slugs right in front of you, load them into that mag, put them in that gun. You're going to be able to watch the crab apples here. I'm going to move this closer once I'm set up. But I'll make three slugs out of, out of this. It's just a lead rod. So I'm going to make three of those, and I'm going to show you. And uh, we'll see if we can make this all happen here. So put my glasses on here to see. So step one, I've already set my die where I want it. I'm making 62, oh, sorry. I'm making 62 uh, grain dish base, hollow point. Put my knee against here, boom. Come, drops into the tray, you heard it. Whole way up, boom, okay. Okay, you heard that, see? Now that's cut off right there. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now let's pull one of these up so you can see it here. There it is in my hand. That's what it is. And now we're going to put it in the press here. So now it's in the press and you're gonna see excess uh, leg come off. Boom, see it come out. We don't wanna to have too much, but let's see what we got here product wise. Okay. So now you have your hollow point and then there's your dish. And you're like, oh, it's got a little, yeah, it's just got a little bit. All you do is rub your finger over it, it's gone. Okay, that's one. Okay, lift this up a little bit so it sits in there nice. Press. Okay. There's number two. He's got a little bit of stuff on him, but that comes right off. Okay. I end. Put this last one in, you see it? Okay. And sometimes I get a little stiff on there. There we go. I put a little drop of uh, oil on there sometimes just to keep it from, it'll stick a little bit. But there we go. Now, you see those three there. I'm gonna move the camera in at least this so you can see it and I'll turn this on. And yeah, that way we're recording this. Okay. Now, that's awful. We're going to bring that even in closer for you. And hopefully when I look at the crab apples, you guys will be able to see that. Yeah. All right. That's looking good. Now, let me bring the mag over. So you guys know there's no hokiness going on. Okay, one, two, three. See them right there? Okay. Okay. All right. Make sure I get this in here, right? I gotta pull the bolt back. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, let's see what we got here. All right. Hopefully, you can see that crab apple pretty good. Yeah, you'll be able to see them. Okay, we just loaded three we just made. Okay. Enough said. Done deal. We just made them right to the bench bam 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 there you go 62 grains and of course the current graph shut off <laughs> while i was talking it's about a, almost 140 foot pounds that is absolutely awesome for coyotes it, this is set up this is absolutely deadly corbin i can't say enough blows my mind i'm still in shock i'm still trying to figure out now, what I mean in shock is it's something new. It's something we can use right here in the field. It's, I, 
I don't know. It's awesome.